Let's take a look at an easy way to use your ID50A in DSTAR mode without a repeater or a hotspot. In this video, we're going to take a look at an easy way to use your new ID50A in DSTAR mode without the extra expense of a hotspot or the need for a nearby DSTAR repeater. As we get started, thanks for watching this Gadget Talk video and be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. The most common way to access the DSTAR network when repeaters aren't close by is through a hotspot. There are several brands of hotspots on the market ranging in price from about $120 for a simple PiStar Zero based jumbo spot to very capable open spot hotspots that go for up to $300. I've been using a PiStar based hotspot for a couple of years and they work fine. I was very interested in using the ID50 in terminal mode using iCom's Android software on my smartphone to have access to DSTAR when traveling. As we'll see in a second, that proved to be too hard a nut to crack. Where I ended up was using a very easy to use program called Doozy on my PC. It doesn't solve my DSTAR wall traveling problem, but it's a start. Doozy allows me to access the DSTAR network from the computer in my ham shack. It easily connects to most reflectors regardless of prefix while not having to go through the radio's process of unlinking, linking, reflector name entering, and so forth. Once opened, Doozy lets you use drop-down lists and buttons to quickly change reflectors. Now, before we jump into Doozy, let's talk a little bit about the ICOM terminal software and my ultimate failure at getting it to work. As we do that, if you've gotten it to work and see where I missed some important step, be sure to leave a comment. I hate giving up, but I've spent hours reading the manuals and changing inputs on both the software as well as the radio menus. All to no avail. So probably the first thing we need to do is show you how to go into terminal mode and it's really easy. We'll turn the radio on. Then we're going to go into menu. We're going over to the DV gateway choice and we're going to select terminal mode. Notice that it goes into the terminal down here at the bottom of the screen showing that you're in terminal mode. So that's all there is to that. The ID50A has a couple of online manuals and instructions for both the ID50A drivers and the RS MS3 software. The MS3A software is the Android version found on the Play Store and the MS3W is the Windows app. You'll find both the software and download instructions on the ICOM Japan website. The first thing I did was download and install the ID50 drivers. You want to get the drivers installed before connecting your radio to your PC. This prevents Windows from assigning the wrong driver from all the available drivers it searches through. Search ID50 driver to get this page and then select the driver. You'll then get the download page you see here. Follow the instructions to install the driver. You'll need an unzip program like WinZip or 7-Zip to decompress the files. Next, search the RSMS3W and navigate to this page. Click on the Support and Download tab at the top and you'll end up here. Download the manual and the software. Read up on the installation process and then install the software. It's well documented in those instructions. The last thing you'll need to do is download the DV Gateway manual found on the ID50A product page in the Support Download tab. The RSMS3A app looks like any other smartphone app and you install it the same way. Select and install that one as well as the MS3W. 
There are settings in the phone and in the radio that need to be properly set. At this point, however, I only got the failed to connect network error. While the display on the Android app is only slightly different, I got the same error. I got this despite having tried several gateway URLs and IP addresses in the top box. So, enter doozy. There were a number of comments on videos and in online forums about issues with the RSMS3 software. Many included the advice to just drop it and use doozy, so that's what I did. While doozy doesn't have an Android equivalent, it is very easy to install and use to access DSTAR via the terminal mode on your PC. Doozy is a free terminal mode program for DSTAR. You'll find it on the PA7LIM's website. The URL is PA7LIM.nl. Download Doozy using the link in the instructions. That link will take you here. Then, Click on Beta, and you'll end up here. Download the program and install it as you would any Windows program. Note the instructions say that the ICOM driver we discussed earlier needs to be loaded, so if you haven't loaded them yet, now's the time. As with most CPS programs, you'll need to check your device manager to find the COM port Doozy will need to connect to. Here's my device manager. Notice the ICOM ID50 port is COM port 9. With that done, open Doozy. Click on the crossed tools icon to open the settings window. Enter the data and click save. At this point, there are a couple of settings on the radio you need to check as well. We'll start by going to menu, and then we're gonna go down to the set menu. We're going to go to Function right here, and then we're going to go to USB Connect, and we want it to say Serial Port, and it does, so we're going to back out. Then we're going to go down to the USB Serial Port function, and then we're going to select DV Data. So those are the menu changes you need to make to get the radio ready to work in terminal mode. Connect your ID50 to your PC using a data-capable USB cable and turn it on. In the Doozy app, click on the slider. The box in the lower left corner should show your radio is connected. This brings us to the thing I really like about this program. As I mentioned at the start of the video, Doozy allows you to quickly and easily move between reflectors without unlinking and relinking or using the radio's controls to input reflector names. Simply click the box below the on-off switch to see a drop-down box of reflector prefixes. Then select one corresponding to the one you want. Next, click the next drop-down box to select the reflector number and then the third drop-down box to select the module. In this shot, you can see we've selected REF030 Charlie. With your reflector selected, click the Connect slider. Doozy will connect to the reflector, and the reflector box in the right corner will say Link to whatever reflector you've chosen. If it doesn't connect within a few seconds, turn the Connect sliders switch to off and turn it on again. If someone was talking, it might not link to that reflector. I have my radio set to CQ, CQ, CQ. When I press the PTT, I can talk on the reflector, though the two setting really doesn't seem to matter. The panel on the far right will show you the traffic on the reflector since you've connected. The display turns green when the radio is receiving and red when transmitting. Since you're in terminal mode, no RF is coming from the radio. Hey, hey Roger, I was just curious. I uh, went away and I uh, wondered what the, what, the, uh, what the overflow is. So, uh, have a good day. I uh, appreciate you coming back. Give me clear. Give me 5C, yeah, no, problem. Yeah, we get that question quite a bit, uh, but no, our uh, mailing services.
there are a couple of things I need to mention. First, you still need to register with a DSTAR gateway. Check out my Introduction to DSTAR video for more information on that. I'll link to it in the end card to this video and in the description. Second, if you already have DSTAR Hotspot like I do, the Doozy app will cycle on and off if the reflector you've selected is the same as the one set in your PiStar configuration. The DSTAR network doesn't work with two devices using the same call sign on the same reflector at the same time. I set my PiStar default to a reflector that I wouldn't normally connect to. When not doubled up, Doozy works great. So, there you have it. My excursion into the ID50 terminal mode. The good and the bad. Again, if you have the RSMS3A app working, leave a comment with what you think I should check or double check. Otherwise, enjoy Doozy when around the shack or when you have a laptop tethered to your smartphone when on the road. As always, if you found this video helpful, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe to the Gadget Talk channel. Check out the channel for lots of videos on ham and GMRS related topics. Thanks for watching and 73.